All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn some Mickey Mickey math. Mickey Mickey math. It's related to Mickey Mickey Mouse. No, he's not. I made that up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to work this problem. Which of these is the product of blah, 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 blah and blah, 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 Looks like a Mighty Ducks movie right there. Okay. Product means multiplication. Okay. It means what's the answer to this multiplication problem? Now, there are tons of ways to work this. Okay. Um... I think I'm just going to go with the, the most basic way, in my opinion. That's just something that rhymes with shmishmribute, and you got it, distribute. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll just start with the smaller of the two, which would be this side over here. And I'm going to take that first D right there, and I'm going to distribute it into there, 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 and there. So I'm essentially I'm just going to multiply those mugs together. So the first one, D times D to the third would be D to the fourth. D times 2D squared is going to be positive 2D to the third. All right, this one would be negative 2D squared, and then this will be 3D. Now, I need to do the other one, negative 5. I'm going to multiply it by everything in there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we go. Negative 5 times D to the third is negative D to the third. 5, psych, negative 5d to the third. Next one, 2d squared times negative 5, negative 10d squared. Now you see it's changing the numbers, but not the exponents, whereas the other one right here changed the, um, the thing with the exponent, the variable with the exponent, and not the number. But this is a number, so it's going to mix with the own numbers. So we go to the next one. Negative 2d times negative 5 is positive 10d. Negative times a negative equals a positive. Again, that's from Stan and Deliver. Famous movie, whatever. Negative three times or ne three times negative five is negative fifteen. Now, if you notice, none of these look like this jumbled mess I got right here. All you got to do is you got to combine your like terms. So start with the to put it in order. If you notice, their order is always highest exponent to lowest exponent. So that's what you want to do too, because you're a genius and you're a math mathematician. So we start with the one with the highest exponents. So circle it. So much easier not to lose stuff. Don't ever do all this in your head. You'll double up and forget things. It's just not good. So let's find every D that has a 4 exponent, which is, guess what? None of the other ones. So I start with it. D to the 4th. Then mark it out. You don't want to double up, and you know what you've got, and you're taken care of, okay? Make sure you stay clean with these signs in front of it, though, because you want to mark that out because you need some of them. Now, does that help any of this? No, these are all the same. So I can't mark out any problems, but I know that that doesn't matter. Now, I know this next step is going to knock some out. So I want to take everything that has a D to the third, which would be this one and this one. Okay, that's it. So what's positive 2D to the third minus 5D to the third? Remember, your D to the third is going to stay the same. Okay, you're not canceling that out. You're just canceling out the number in front of it or adding or subtracting the number in front of it. So what's positive 2 minus 5? Well, the negative's bigger, so negative's going to win that battle, so it's going to be negative 3. Let's see what that marks out. Boom, this problem's not correct. Boom, this problem's not correct. See, this process of elimination, magnifique. All right, now let's do our next one, which would be d squared. I don't see any more. Oh, psych, I see you, little guy. What's up? So now we do negative 2 minus 10, which is two negatives. It's going to be even bigger, so it's going to be negative 12d squared. Okay, so boom, we killed another one out of this mug. Bye-bye. Now we do our regular Ds. Oh, I didn't mark it out. You didn't tell me. Why didn't you remind me, guys? Gosh, I was testing you. You passed. Barely. F+. plus. We got D, 3D, and then 10D. So that's going to be 13D. Oh, sheesh kebab. And that marks out our last one. And then just to verify that we did it right, what's left? Negative 15. That's what's up. We got our correct answer. And now we're ready for the ACT or SAT if you're from the Northeast. Bye-bye. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. You heard the man. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends. Subscribe to my fun channel. Or funner channel, I guess. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. Follow my fan page just because everybody's doing it. Why not, please? And then check out TylerTarver.com. Bing, 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 bing. Bye-bye.